Hey everybody, my name is Iman Alford. And I'm Stefan Alford. And we are back with another story time on what happened after we met in person for the first time. Ooh, babe. And this, this story time is super special because we are in Memphis. Yes, we are. And this is where we had our first kiss too. Ooh, you got <laughs> We are in our parents' Ooh, house in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely kissed me first. But anyway. Oh, lie. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're going to tell the real deal when it's time. Okay. Anyway. But welcome, y'all. We're excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, I picked you up from the airport. Yeah. And after we um, left the airport, I was driving. I drove us to Starbucks. Epic. What just happened? You just surprised me with some roses. nervous. I don't know if I had anxiety. I don't know what it was. I mean, I was super comfortable when we were right. in the car right? Um, on our way to Starbucks, mm -hmm. but I was just had this like energy. Like I just need to sit down and I just need to talk to him in person. And so as <laughs> soon as we um, got to Starbucks, we talked and um, we decided to call your dad. Yes. What's, what you up to? <laughs> I just need like, I need a couple of minutes of your time. She has no clue. She has no clue. So, I am actually, um, I'm not in Illinois. I'm not in Chicago. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to know where I am? Yes. I am in Memphis, Tennessee, with this gorgeous, Angel from heaven. Okay. It's a full circle moment, y'all. Full circle moment. Now we all married. Yes. Okay. And so um then I take you to your hotel. Mm -hmm. And um then we get ready. Mm -hmm. I come back and get ready for yeah. our first date. Yeah. I when I got to the hotel, it was like this whole welcome Stefan thing. I felt I felt honored, you know, it was just setting it up and I'm just excited, like after seeing her, yeah. when I got off the plane, I'm like, okay. But yeah, <laughs> she had already, she had um, took the initiative to make some reservations for uh, a restaurant here. And because I'm we not, went to I'm not Postal familiar with it. First so, yeah. <gasps> Hold on. Skip. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, we wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Iman? <laughs> I cannot take you. You look so handsome. Like, you look amazing, too. Oh, everything. She had, she set the whole scenery up. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I pick you up. We had to Coastal. Coastal? Yes. You did that. It was so you romantic. You did that. You told me that you had something to talk to me about tonight. Yeah. And I immediately ooh, was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm thinking you're going to officially ask me to be your girlfriend. Why don't you got to talk to me about it? sounded serious. On our first date, we're sitting down at the restaurant and you say, I had something to present to you that the Lord gave me while I was on the plane. And I'm like, huh? Okay. <laughs> and so he hands me his phone and it's the game plan. You know, I was on the plane. Honestly, I was praying to God that he would show me uh, a vision to present to Iman. Literally in five minutes, Guy gave me this game plan to present to her. She's like, I'm down. You know, I, I, I like the plan. You know, I feel like, you know, it, it sits well. Yes. And it was an immediate yes. So I'm like, okay, well, all of this sounds good and all. I'm glad that you enjoy the plan. I said, but it doesn't change the fact that you still live in Memphis and I live in Chicago. Yeah. And she goes, stop right there. She says, wherever you go, I'll go. Period. Here. This woman was sent from heaven. I can't take you anymore. All of these years, I've been beating dead horses. <laughs> and you mean to tell me it's this easy? Because she said, I knew you lead we and I'll you. follow. I said, hold up. <laughs> hold up. This, this woman just said, what? Wherever you babe, go, I go. Babe, babe, let me tell you this. I'll follow you. 
<laughs> the women that I have courted in the past, I've been in some long distance relationships, right? And it just hasn't been that easy. So I mean, he so was shook. you were shook after I I'm said that. I'm still shook, babe. <laughs> babe after I said that, you go. After I said that, you did not eat anything else. That night, he didn't. He ordered lobster. Babe, that everything lobster died off the for menu. no reason. He ordered died for no reason. I'm <laughs> sorry, lobster. You ordered everything. Let's off have the a menu moment of silence for the lobster. I babe. can't. Come on. I can't. Come on. Let's have a moment. <laughs> anyway, so he. <laughs> okay. All right. We got he didn't to eat work. anything. I just knew in that moment because I knew how I was praying. I knew what I was praying for. I knew the desires of my heart. I I needed a man with vision. A man that was able to lead, because I'm looking at everything. When you talk about a husband, okay. like I'm taking everything. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm looking at everything. Okay. Well, babe, <laughs> tell me, it's it's three weeks into this of me first meeting you, of me first sending you a message like a DM. Mm -hmm. How in the world did we get from the DM to wherever you go? I'll go. Because okay, well, honestly, right before you. Was it the week about the say? Okay. Two weeks after. Two weeks after we met. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two weeks after we met, Steph and I we went on a fast, mm -hmm. and Steph was the one who initiated the fast. He asked me if I could fast with him, and um, to seek why God brought us together. Yeah. And so that in itself was already special because you wanted to pray with me and for us to get wisdom from God, it's like for God to reveal the purpose of our connection. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I still get chills when I think about it wow. because I remember being here during that process, mm -hmm. during the fasting process. And um, I remember um, praying with you and I remember hearing how you prayed. I remember just the peace that I had when um, we would pray together and just, I just had peace that, you know, God gave us permission to be together. Like, I just, wow. I can't even explain it, but it's just like when people say, you know, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, when it's God, That's because true. it's totally different from your past relationships. Right. Like one, no one ever asked me to fast with them. No one ever asked me to let, like, let's see what God says about this connection. You were the only man to ever do that with me. And, um, you're just very intentional and you were very serious about me from the beginning. Very. And I was serious about you too. And yeah. so when we prayed together, how did you feel? Like, I mean, I, I knew honestly that we needed to go on the fast because you know how something feels like it's too good to be true. It definitely felt that way. That's, that's how <laughs> I felt about this whole situation because mind you, Iman, at that time, before I reached out to her, she was a total stranger. Yeah. Like, we didn't know anybody. We didn't have any mutual connections, no mutual friends. Um, there was just a, a, a message sent to her, and I knew that, you know, she was someone who I wanted to get to know. You know, yeah. and I felt like God was leading me in that direction. You felt God led you to me. Yeah, yeah, I felt like God did. I always prayed for, this is what I always desired in my past relationships, but I did not get yeah. And this is this is truly what I always desired in my husband to pursue wow. me the way that you pursued me and just be this intentional. So when you came to me with that plan, I was like, oh, my God, like God really gives you the desires of your heart. Yeah. Like He is so faithful because only God would know what I desired. I didn't share with you in two weeks, like, this is the kind of energy I want you to be on when you're pursuing me. No. I just gave you room to be yourself. And right. she, um, like my, one of my uncles always said, like, let him show you who he is. Let him prove to you um, who he is. And so I want you to prove to me who you were. And, and, that's, and you, that's the key, babe. You proved to me that you were babe. a man of God without me even having to, like, give you any hints or ask you like I didn't tell you anything you did it on your own mm, mm, mm. she said she had to give me room to prove <laughs> that right there need to sit <laughs> you felt that I felt that too I now that I'm here I'm telling I'm you really? when you said made room <laughs> but no it's, it's very important especially when you're talking about trying to uh, position yourself for marriage I just remember being like okay 
like this is it this is it um and then um and you wanted me to meet your parents i wanted course. you to meet oh so that's why i yeah. talked to you about dinner yeah. i said how do you feel about meeting my family mm -hmm. um while you're here in memphis mm -hmm. and you told me yes you said absolutely um you wanted us to spend the first two days right. together and then um you were open to uh meeting my family i just feel right yeah. oh, how does it feel to meet your parents <laughs> And so he met my family. Um, this is still the first week that we met in person. So he met my parents, yeah. um, he met my aunties, and then he met my godmom. They had this mom. special moment. Like my mom, my godmom was just like, thank you, Jesus. Like she knew when she saw yes. you, yes. she knew that you were the she one did. for me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Matthew. Come on, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that embrace. Like, yeah. Like leaning up to that moment, I knew how special uh, her godmom was, you know, to her, to you. I yeah. knew that, yeah. you know, after hearing how you talked about her and just the time she's prayed for you and just took time to labor in the word and just yeah. minister during time. So I knew that that was a special moment and the embrace. Yeah, that was so sweet. That she gave she me, just, it was just like. We almost all went into tears when y'all met for the first time because you were just, um, yeah. A manifestation of what we've been praying for that's special yeah. seriously and i know i know the feeling because i you know like my dad and my mom they know what i've gone through and my sister and my my brothers my family my immediate family literally like they've been praying for this so yeah everybody it, it is emotional it you emotional. know like when you know for sure that god's hand is on this relationship yeah um and and i believe that you know, from that moment, like it was just like done. Like it was, it was like, done. <laughs> Everybody that day. <laughs> yeah, it was that done. week it was done. Yeah. We knew that we were we were gonna get married because um, after we prayed, after we fast, like everything, all everything happened after the fast. We just had everyone's approval. That just made yeah. it so special. I remember doing prayer. We were asked for God to go before us. Yes. You know, doing this because we knew what we felt, mm -hmm. but we wanted to make sure there was no additional opposition. Yeah. And so we dealt with that thing just in prayer. You yeah, know, we covered it, it our whole manifested. relationship. We covered yeah. everything in it was prayer. So, it was founded on in prayer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. All right, guys. <laughs> well, that Ooh. is it. That's what oh happened after we Ooh. met. It took me back. Man. It was so beautiful. This so we're in Memphis now. Mm -hmm. Married. And Mary. This is where we started. And it's just beautiful. Just we just want to say thank you. Yes. Thank you guys. Yes, thank you all. And just remember, if God remembered us, he remember he'll remember you. you. Bye. All right, you guys, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Yes. And tune in for our next video on our love.